Luke chapter chapter 24 verse number 19 please if this is the place you join if after watching here you connect to the other page and those that will watch the first page the first documentation please endeavor to watch to the end yeah because the message just continue very it, it continue very 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 awesome it's very awesome all right verse 19 and he said to them what things and did they say unto him concerning jesus of nazareth which was a prophet mighty indeed and word before god and all men and now the chief priest and our ruler delivered him to to be condemned to death and have crucified him for the sake of time uh, let me run to where i want to just pick out what i want to share from 38 and he said to them verily verily ye ye troubled ye troubled and why do why do thoughts arise in your heart behold my hands and my foot that is i myself and handle me and see for a spirit had not flesh and bones and as ye see me have and when he had thus spoken he showed them his hand and his feet and they believed and they believed All right, uh, we jump to to 27 because there's something I'm looking for. 27 said I'm beginning at Moses and all the prophet he expanded to them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. That's what I'm looking for. 27. Beginning from Moses and all the all the prophet he revealed to them what was written concerning himself yeah the first place i read in chapter 4 if you go to the book of isaiah 61 isaiah 61 because of time i wanted to skip reading it because i want to run i want to run so that um the bridge i had before i will not experience it the book of Isaiah 61 he said the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek he had sent me to bind up the broken hearted the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to all that mourn. All right, you know there in um the book of Luke chapter 4 it was restricted. Jesus didn't read up to that very place that I stopped. Yeah, because um what moderated what he read was the understanding he has about himself. He knows what he came to fulfill and um knowing what he came to fulfill he didn't digress he didn't jump into what wasn't included in that very first assignment of his coming all right looking for yourself in a book is what I'm sharing from and of course I've established that in the previous series I've run Yeah that um the word looking is synonymous to finding. Yeah if you don't use the word when you hear me say looking I'm simply referring to finding. 
and the finding follows a process. There is a procedure. And I've been saying it over and over. So in case this where you are joining, just do well to go back and watch the previous messages I've been preaching on this platform because um, it will really help you to know um, what God is saying yeah, from this very particular message. All right, I'm continuing on a subheading that I have under this topic. The subheading I have here, I have about two or three subheadings under this teaching. Another subheading that I have here, I say God hides the book. God hides the book. Remember I said I'm teaching from looking for yourself in a book. And I have established a fact that we all are born to live from a book. And you came from a volume of a book. And all you came to fulfill are written in a book. They are written and sealed in a particular book. Not every book. So the honor of your life is to find the book and the things that is written. And of course, <laughs> I have established it in the previous teaching why God hides things. Uh, things that are important are hidden. You don't stumble on important things because they command value. Things that are valuable, you don't stumble on them. You don't just, you don't just come across them. They are precious. Yeah, both spirit and intelligent men hide things. Spirits hide things. It's the honor of spirit. Just the book of Proverbs 25 2 says that, that God delights in hiding things. And the glory of kings is in searching out the hidden things of God. So who you are is hidden. And the book where the things you are born to fulfill are hidden. And um, no other man can find the book of another man. Yeah, you are the only one that can look for your book for yourself. So if you have understanding, like I keep saying, that um, what I'm teaching is, you, of course, within the week, I just, uh, yeah, because some things, as they keep coming clearer and clearer, yeah, I'm backing it with action. Yeah, there is um, uh, a yeah, new kind of people I know I'm raising, I, I want to raise, and um, a platform has been created for them. I I'm raising with creators. There are people, not people that will run after money, but people that will stay on a particular place and money will start coming to them. <laughs> it's not just a statement. It's something that is backed up by revelation. The earth is a place of ordinance, not a place of religion. And I've said it over and over again. I say God is not a religious personality. And Emperor Emmanuel Mekezelek is not a religious man. I'm not a religious man. <laughs> and I'm not born to raise religious people. It's very conscious in my spirit. I know what works and what does not work. I'm not a motivational preacher. <laughs> I know ordinance and I'm born to teach ordinance. So I'm conscious of that. All right. Subheading, God hides the book. Whatsoever that is important is hidden. You don't just stumble into them. Because of value, because of value to avoid adulteration. God chose to hide who we are inside a book. <laughs> no man, there can be two people <laughs> that is alike. Yeah, even though sometimes people say that some people faces may look alike, but hear me, you are not two. Voice of everlasting solution is not two on earth. And there is nobody anywhere that can take the place of voice of everlasting solution. In all the whole of eternity, I'm the only man that can be voice of everlasting solution. <laughs> so it's a mystery, and um, that's why... Yeah, God is conscious of adulteration, and that's why he hides, he hides who we are inside the book, and that book is hidden somewhere, and I'll be reviewing it. 
as I journeyed in this teaching. And uh, because I know that I can't be replaced, and I know that um, I can't be too honest, and I know it by knowing that there are things I'm the only one that can teach it. Just like peace to my covenant father, Reverend Chris Christian, the only man I know I will follow with all my life, the whole of eternity. I don't have any other voice to listen to. And uh, from knowing him, I know myself. So I don't have, there's no any other preacher. I can never sat down to listen to any other preacher outside him. <laughs> I'm restricted by that. And even if I happen to listen to other preachers, I listen to them by listening to myself. From knowing myself. So like him, he's irreplaceable in the whole of eternity. The covenant father of immortality, he that is hidden, this mandate, I'm a son. Yeah, and I'm a son, of course. Being a son is by knowing myself. And knowing that I'm voice of everlasting solution. It's a privilege. I celebrate him. Yeah, part of what I'm sharing was a light. Yeah, a light gotten. Yeah, from him as a father. Standing on his shoulder to look. And I'm seeing. Yeah, seeing, clearing things that I'm sharing. I'm seeing myself clearer. Each time I stand on his shoulder, I keep seeing myself clearer and clearer. And that's what I'm doing. He provided a shoulder for me to stand on. And of course, I know also that I need to be a shoulder for some other people. There are people that I'm a shoulder to. It's a privilege. So don't trifle with what you are hearing. Don't trifle with it. It's very awesome. God knows the importance of who we are. That's why he decided to hide who we are in a book. And of course, if you go to the book of Revelation 5, you hear about the sealed book. I don't want to go into that. When John saw in was privileged to be in the meeting of the councils of elders in heaven. And um, he saw that there was a book in the hand of a particular spirit and... Uh, there was nobody that can have access to that book. So, and John said that he started crying because there was nobody. <laughs> but why he was, uh, he was crying, uh, the elder that has been there in the whole of eternity came and said, John, John, don't just cry. Because that book you are crying for is a book of a man. <laughs> and it's not everybody that is meant to take that book. So it's, it's only the man that owns the book should take the book and open it. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't want to go into talking about that. Yeah, a sealed book. What made me to make reference to that is because I said that the book you came with, the book that has what is written about you, is sealed. And it's, yeah, what John saw happens to every man. So until, until you go to collect the book that you are born to look at. The spirit that is holding it, of course, now all the people that we have yeah, revelation about it will keep crying because they will say there is no man. And uh, there can't be any man until you go to that spirit and take the book. And of course, I have so much to review to you. Uh, the same revelation, you go to chapter 10. Yeah, John, uh, John had an account and of course, all these things I'm saying is what made me voice of everlasting solution. Revelation 10, 7, uh, of course, yeah, there, there is a book of, uh, sorry, from verse 1, John saw a particular angel with a book. And I know that that's my angel. <laughs> so you, you as well can find out whether you have something to do with, with the angel, angel that is carrying a book. And of course, all of us, yeah, it's part of the thing I know I will be revealing in this teaching. That um, <coughs> there are things that uh, generally is the general knowledge that people talk about guiding angel. Hear me, this is a takeaway, a take home revelation. I didn't write it down in this book that I'm teaching from, but I'm bringing it as I'm teaching now. You can enjoy the support of your guiding angel until you have access to the book of that guiding angel. Your angel, the, the guiding angel that everybody keeps talking about, <laughs> cannot help you enough 
if you don't have access to the book that is in his hand. So uh, people can only connect to their guiding angel when they have access first to discover themselves and the book. Of course, that leads me to the next thing I said in this. I said that the book is first with a spirit and is with a man. The hidden book that I'm talking about, that I'm preaching from, is first of all with a spirit, a particular spirit, and that book is also with a particular man. So if you want to know the things that is written about you, find out the guiding spirit that is your guiding spirit. Of course, just like I know as a preacher that I'm not meant to preach to everybody. <laughs> so people that will be part of my ministry are those that met the guiding angel that gave birth to me, the angel with the book that I'm teaching from. <laughs> and um, your help cannot, the help of this author can't go to everybody. This angel cannot go about, it, 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 of course, there is no a wanderer. Hear me, the all important spirits are not wanderers. And uh, important spirits will always go to their own seat. Peace to you for hearing me. All right. It is hidden in the spirit of God and man. And that's the reason why the greatest relevance on earth is in self-realization. Yeah, you know, over time when I keep telling people, I said, the ministry is answering the word of unique relevance. And I said, we are not speaking English. <laughs> we are not speaking English. It's a revelation. It's a secret. So we are not um, we are not just speaking English. The word of unique relevance as a ministry is a revelation. It's a revelation. It's a, it's a secret. So the greatest thing that can give a man relevant, that can make a man relevant on earth in the whole of eternity is self-realization. You can only enjoy divine support by discovering and accomplishing the purpose that brought you here on earth. Divine support can only be given to you when you have discovered and accomplished the purpose that brought you here on earth. If you want to enjoy maximum divine support, then you need to pay closer attention to the things that you are born to fulfill. It's not just a natural phenomenon. I've been telling people about this over time that when you look at our hands, yeah, we have different lines that are drawn there. And um, none of the drawings there look alike. And that's why intelligence taught men that there is what is called fingerprint. And a fingerprint can never be the same. Even though you are born by the same parent, your fingerprint can never be the same. And there is nothing that can make your fingerprint to re uh, look like the other person's own. Uh, these things are natural things. But they are not just natural, they carry the message. And I'm depending on it to help you to understand what I'm sharing about. About self-discovering and about specific assignment. Accomplishing a specific task, a specific purpose. That's what we came here to do. <laughs> yeah, I just posted something on, on the new group that I'm, I, I talk about raising them. Um, world creators yeah people that that will not look for money <laughs> because they know that money is the smallest thing that they should lose use their life to look for a life that's the kind of people i'm born to raise <laughs> previously i've said it i said that the earth don't have wealthy people yet and when i said that some people may look at it and look at me and said how much do you have how much is there in your account and i will smile because i know it's not about how much i have in my account presently but there's something i know 
There is something I know that is higher than money. <laughs> and I know that what I know will command money to come. And of course, he's doing that already. <laughs> what I know is already commanding money. <laughs> so I'm not using my life to look for money, and I can never lose, use my life to look for money. Cause be that day that I will wake up to use my life to look for money. I cause that day and I cause the life. It can never happen. I will never use my life to look for money. But the only thing I will use my life to do is what I'm doing already. And every day that's the only thing I know I will use my life to, to look for. The hidden truth. And then dis dispose it. Dispose it to the people that it was meant for. Because the earth can never remain in pain. Hear me. <laughs> that's the ultimate assignment of who I am. Pain can continue on it. Pain must definitely end. And in case you are part of the earth, I want you to know that we are not here just for fun. And of course, what you are hearing today didn't come by fun. I announced that I'm, I'm celebrating my birthday on 29th of August. I have spent a good number of years. By God's grace, I'll be 37 by August 29. And I, have, I didn't use it for pleasure. I didn't invest in it. I didn't know what is called youthful pleasure. I didn't know it. I didn't know it, and I'm not desiring it. So I'm just saying it to help you to understand. I, I don't trifle with it. It's, we are not here to make for fun. I've always known a life of loneliness. Yeah, loneliness in the sense of what men can call loneliness, but it's no loneliness to me. Yeah, what men call loneliness is what I enjoy. I enjoy it. I don't keep friends. I don't have I don't have friends. I don't go out. I don't go out to go and sit down to discuss. It's my life. I just discover it and I'm restricting it. I, I, I'm not meant to go to public places and go there. That's why if I'm in public places, I will feel somehow because I know that's not my kind of life. I'm not a social man, so to say, so to say. When I mean that, yeah, there are some things I'm not going to talking about, but I'm just trying to say some things for you to understand what self-realization can do for a man. You are not just hearing what you are hearing. Pleasure didn't pro produce it. It's years of pain, taxing. I, as from, from, from very tender age, I'm subjected to tax my brain, to think. I don't hear things and I will take it the way they are. I don't hear things and I will, I will, I will accept it immediately. I don't accept things that I hear. Before things will settle in my spirit, I will sleep over it, over and over. Some night, there will be no sleep. I will just be thinking. So some things are not cheap. And of course, that's why, because in previous teachings, I have said it, I said, for a man to find himself, you need to make effort. Why a lot of people keep stumbling around is because they think that... Um, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to. I don't know how to put it so that people will not be offended. Please don't be offended in me. But I'm I'm saying some things for you to know what matters, and um, know that the earth is a place of intelligence. <laughs> and the personality that people are calling God is a very high intelligent being. And of course, that's why he can't go to everybody. And it's not everybody that can, that can find him. Very highly intelligent being. When he created man, Genesis 1.26, of course, you know, that's where this teaching started from. Genesis 1.26, he said, let man look like us. And uh, he had something that I want to be revealing because I know that verse 28 Verse 28 
supposed to come before uh, supposed to come before twenty six. <laughs> Bible is a coded book. And of course, I'll be summarizing with telling you some things about it. Bible is, you are not meant to read everything that is in the Bible. <laughs> because everything that is in the Bible, they are not meant for you. <laughs> I don't read the whole Bible. I'm not the preacher. I'm not the kind of preacher that boasts that I've read from Genesis to Revelation. I'm not born to read the Genesis to Revelation. And I'm not born to do that. <laughs> I don't boast with that. <laughs> I'm not the kind of preacher that will boast and say that I've finished reading from Genesis to Revelation. <laughs> Voice of Everlasting Solution is not born to finish <laughs> the whole Bible. <laughs> I'm restricted. <laughs> I'm only born to read what concerns me. <laughs> and I'm only born to teach. Of course, this thing I'm teaching... <laughs> Uh, yeah, not everybody now. <laughs> and this is the only thing I know I can teach. <laughs> my message is restricted. <laughs> because my life is restricted. My life is set on boundaries. My life is set on boundaries. And I'm very conscious of that. I don't preach message that everybody will like. <laughs> my message is meant for people that it was meant for. And I know eternity can't finish with it. All right, God bless you for hearing. I want to quickly start wrapping up by reviewing the long-awaited secret that I announced. Revelation 20. <laughs> Is your name in the book of life? Is your name in the book of life? Yeah. <laughs> A songwriter said that. <laughs> and it's a general message. A lot of people, a lot of preachers have talked about the book of life. But hear me. They are deceiving us. And some of the things they are telling us. I didn't say that to insult anybody. But I'm, I'm voice of everlasting solution. What they are, most of them are telling us about book of life are deception. <laughs> this is a take-home message, and eternity can finish with it. Book of Life, Revelation chapter 20, <laughs> from, verse, um, from verse 11. I feel awesome in my spirit. He said, And I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, I saw a great white throne, and him that sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven flee away. And the air was found no place for them. Twelve, and I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and the books were open, and another book was open, which is the book of life. And the dead we are judged out of those things which we are written in the book in the books according to their work. I'm stopping. All right. Uh, le let me read 13 and then I will stop. And the sea gave up the, do the dead which we are in it and the dead and hell deliver up the dead, uh, the dead men, all right, which we are in them, and they we are judged every man according to their works. They we are judged every man according to their work. All right, over time, even why I, as a boy, when I was growing up, yeah, the what they told us, and that's why I'm trying to open your eyes. I said some of the things. They are telling us, of course, it's not, I'm not faulting it. Uh, voice of everlasting solution. When you hear me over time teaching, I said, I'm not faulting things to condemn it, but I'm faulting it to further destinies. Like I said, that a lot of preachers that have preached concerning the book of life, what they said are deception. Yeah, over time, you know what they keep telling us. Hear me, don't, 
I don't know. Some of the things, uh, there are some truth that I, I want to hide. But pain will not end if we keep hiding the truth that people are meant to know. Pain will not end. Pain will continue as long as people don't know what they're supposed to know. And the prayer cannot end it. That's why it's frustration for a lot of people that are running to prayer houses. Prayer cannot bring lasting solution. I'm voice of everlasting solution. And I'm telling you this because if you don't hear me, if you don't hear me now, you will still hear me even when you lost your body. Prayer cannot bring lasting solution on earth. So in case maybe your pastor has been telling you, pray. I'm not against prayer. I pray. And of course this night, I'm going to spend about four hours to pray. <laughs> but prayer <laughs> is not the ultimate solution. Voice of everlasting solution is coming from me to you. They told us, and there have been a lot of people that have been preaching, hear me, I'm saying this to help you. When we accept Jesus Christ and accept the blood he shed on the cross of Calvary, that's not the ultimate thing that we write a man's name in the book of life. I, I said this, this message I'm preaching, I have announced it on, the, on my Facebook page, and a lot of people have been trying to follow. That's why I'm taking our time to give out some of the secrets that I know. Things that I know that are truth, that are hidden. And of course, I'm teaching because of self-realization. When we accept Jesus Christ and then um, his blood purge us, that's not where salvation work ends. And of course, please hear me. And um, <laughs> there are things I know and I, I may not go into teaching it. I know that what men, of course, like I am here now, I know that there are two phases of re resurrection. And I know that, they, that to preach about resurrection of the dead is not the season for preaching of resurrection of the dead has passed. And uh, a lot of people are still wasting time to talk about the resurrection of the dead. Of course, I will not go into that because I'm not there. Today is not meant for that. But I'm just bringing out that because it's somehow connected to what I want to review now. The resurrection of the dead, the time has far gone in eternity. We the resurrection of the dead should be the, <laughs> should be the leading message. He hear me preaching about the resurrection of the dead is an obsolete revelation. To talk about the rising of the dead is obsolete. It's coming from me, voice of everlasting solution. That preaching about the rising of the dead is obsolete. <laughs> obsolete revelation. It's an updated revelation. All right. So the book of life, and that's the crown message. A lot of people, when they had it online, a lot of people are trying to, <laughs> they are attentive and said, what do Voice of Everlasting Solution want to talk about? And I'm already talking it. So I start by talking under this subheading, the book of life. I say purpose is higher than life because life is live round about it. So what you are born to fulfill is more important and precious than breathing than what is called life. What they call life, true life, is not breathing. Af this is what gave birth to what you are hearing. This is where this message started from. So in case you are just listening to this, just go ahead and uh, search from my page, from the YouTube channel. Watch from the beginning the message I titled that breathing is not living. Start from that series for you to fully know all that I'm sharing. Because if you only listen to this message, there are some things I've said previously that you may not get. So real life is in fulfilling purpose. We 
So we live from a finished work. <laughs> it's an awesome revelation, and I, I won't be saying that. I said that all of us, like the way I am, I'm living from the finish. I'm not living from the start. So all of us, he appeased to my covenant father, Reverend Chris Christian, the head of life and immortality. Yeah, it's a privilege knowing him, keep revealing. I, he's, he's a mirror I keep looking at. So when I look at him, I will look at myself. And I keep, I keep seeing myself clearer and clearer. Yeah, just like this night. And the whole of this week, I will keep beholding him in an awesome meeting. And in case you are watching me, I'm inviting you to connect, to connect awesome revelation. Yeah, August, for the first one week of August is a loaded, a loaded week of creation. So Papa have promised to, to open our eyes to things that has to do with creation. All right. We live from finished work. So I said it, and I remembered him, a revelation coming from him. He keep opening our eyes. That we, we, don't, we don't start living from, fin, uh, from beginning. So life starts from finish. <laughs> That's from, from, from down up. <laughs> not, yeah, yeah, from, from up down, not from down up from ascending to descending. <laughs> That's how we live. All of us that are here, like Voice of Everlasting Solution, I'm just continuing a work that a man has started sometime in the past eternity, but he didn't finish it. So he handed the button. Just like the way I am, I will, I will still hand the button. <laughs> it's a privilege. Yeah. But the handing of the button, the person coming will not do exactly what I'm doing. Just like what I'm doing is not exactly what the spirit that handed the button to me did. So we live our life from, from finish, not from, from starting. God bless my soul. What religious mind call book of life? is book of purpose. This is the peak of this message. That thing that they keep calling book of life, that religious mind called book of life, I am bringing it on a clearer note that it is book of purpose. What writes the name of men? Men write, write their name in the book of life by discovery and fulfilling all that is written about them. Peace to all the, all the ancient men that are hearing me from the veteran heavens. And of course, I'm teaching because of them. I'm not only teaching because of the living. I'm teaching because of the dead too. Because the destiny of the dead cannot progress without us. So the dead are looking towards us. And the value of us that are living is to help the dead to come out of grave. So things that will cause the dead to come out of the grave is what we are already sharing. And it's, that's the reason why I know that there are things that prayer can't do. The last judgment for both the dead and the living is based on work. Discovery yourself and living consciously from all that is from all that you know about yourself. This is an ultimate revelation that I'm given from this teaching and I'm already wrapping up. And the last takeaway revelation I'm given to all that are connected to this revelation is that the greatest job to do on earth is to find yourself from the book of purpose hidden in your spirit and in the spirit of God. So if you know yourself, you will know your book by 
By this process, you will form yourself and your destiny. Because eternity is hidden in today's activity. <laughs> I may not go to explain what I'm just saying. Uh, maybe in some subsequent teaching I will explain this because I want to wrap up the message. Let me say again, I said, if you know yourself, you will know your book. By this process, you will, you will know yourself and your destiny. Because eternity is hidden in today. So eternity, like I'm preaching from eternity. What I'm sharing is, is no everyday message. I'm teaching eternity. And I'm standing on eternity to teach. And that's why this message connects both the dead and the living. Because I'm standing in eternity to preach. And it's a privilege of my life. So I'm not looking at... Uh, my attention is not like uh, on to people that are sitting here. I'm not looking at people that came to service. No. <laughs> because I'm standing on eternity to preach. So what I'm preaching will not end this night. What I'm preaching will continue after this night. And it's not only those that are living will only listen to it. So both things that physical eyes can see are listening. So the earth is a place of purpose. And that's why eternity revolves round about it. That's the last thing I'm saying. And I, if this message bless you, don't just keep it to yourself. Share it to people that you love. And do well to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Emperor Emmanuel Mekizede voice of everlasting solution. So I want to thank you for, for connecting, for watching. And um, I know that I'm um, hearing it just once is not enough. Sleep with this revelation. Because self-discovery is not a day job. I have not known everything about myself, but there are things I've already known. And that have given me a platform to stand on. And after teaching this night, I will still go back to keep looking. So all that is written about me is already in a book. And the privilege of my life is that I've been able to connect to the spirit that is with the book. And every day I will go back to the spirit and say, teach me. So God bless you. God bless you because I know you will not mock this teaching and you will not mock the effort that brought about this revelation. And that's why I want to indulge you, I want to beg you, I want to plead with you. Don't just listen, listen and take decision. And I know that you will definitely call to share testimony because this message is meant to alter ugly destiny. It's meant to end pain. It's meant to eradicate poverty and suffering. And establish men on the path of endless prosperity. I want to announce to the world of unique relevance Christian fellowship family that your season has come. And um, your value will be known in nation. God bless you all. And Preman and Mekizedek celebrate you. Tune in the same time, the same channel, the same station, on the same platform. See you in the month of August. God bless you.